I did something a little crazy today, but you know what? As Din says, this is the way. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. In today's video, as you guys saw in the intro, for the first time ever, I picked up a sealed case of Funko Mystery Minis for The Mandalorian, which just released. I'm really excited to do this unboxing with you guys. And it's the first time I'm actually unboxing a full case. I've never purchased a full case before. So let's go ahead and get this one started. So before we actually get to the case, I do have something to unbox with you guys. I'm really excited about this box. If you guys watched my video for Emerald City Comic Con, I did get a pop that was very popular, but it did not fit in my collection. So I used it to get a grill for myself, which I finally picked up. I'm super excited to share with you guys. I can't believe I finally got this for my collection. And the great part was I got to trade a pop I didn't want and I got something I really wanted. So it worked out perfectly. Here's what we got. We got Captain Rex from Clone Wars. Finally got this for my collection. When it first released, I did not watch the show yet and I did not pick this up and I totally regretted it. Once I watched the show, he was already going up in value and I've been waiting to find a good time to pick it up. And here it is. And then just in case, if you guys did not watch my video for Emerald City Comic Con and you're wondering which pop I used to get this one over here, it was the Emerald City Comic Con Nezre from My Hero Academia. Something that looked actually really cool, but it's something I don't collect personally. So I use it to the advantage and I finally got this grail over here. I actually had to add money on top of that pop, but this looks absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I finally have it. So I'm sure you guys are just as excited about opening up that case as I am. But before we get to that, I actually want to share another Star Wars Funk Pop with you guys. This is actually a new one, Amazon exclusive. And a lot of people were really excited about this one, including myself. Now the reason for that is because there's only one other Funko Pop of this character. Well, technically there's two. There's the New York Comic Con exclusive limited edition of 2000 pieces, which is definitely a grail for Star Wars collectors. It's worth at least $700. I actually barely got mine last year by selling a bunch of pops and purchasing it for my collection. Less for that price, so it was a really great deal for me. And they also have the glow in the dark holographic version. But here we have the new mold, Qui-Gon Jinn and Tatooine, a really cool looking figure for sure. If you guys notice, the base is different compared to the old one and the rest of the Star Wars pops. So instead of having a black base, you can actually see it's the Jedi Council floor design, which is really neat. But that's actually one of the pros for the old one for me. The black base, it matches all the other ones, so I really like that. But the pro for this one is that he has eyebrows. So there's some pros and cons for both versions, but you know what? I'm really happy to have another one because now everyone that missed out and can't get the older one, they can finally get a new Qui-Gon Jinn for their collection. And this is definitely a really cool looking figure. Over here, we have both the original Qui-Gon Jinn limited edition 2000 piece from New York Comic Con 2016, as well as a brand new Amazon exclusive. So you guys can see there is quite a difference between the two. But we're going to go ahead and get them out of the boxes so we can get a closer look in 3, 2, 1. And they're out. So here we have both versions of Qui-Gon Jinn outside of the box. Like I said earlier in the video, there's definitely a lot of differences between the two. And pros and cons for both versions. So for me, I like the old one because of the base. That's a big reason for me because it matches the rest of the Star Wars collection over there. As well as the box. I like the box better. And another thing I like about the old one more than the new one is that the colors don't look as washed out. Let's go ahead and take both Qui-Gon Jinn's for a spin real quick. Let's stop right here so you guys could take a closer look at the base. So you can see that is the Jedi Council floors. Now I do like the base a lot, but what I would be all for is if they make all the Jedi Councils with that base. That would look fantastic. However, I do like the old one's base just because it goes with the entire Star Wars collection. And another thing that I said earlier is the color tone of the new one. I feel like it's a bit washed out. A little too light for me personally. The old one stands out a lot more with the colors. But the new one has eyebrows, which is definitely a great upgrade. As well as his posture, I like it a lot. Now the sabers, I feel like the new ones is a bit too big and the color is a little bit off. But there's definitely pros and cons for both versions. Now I'm actually thinking about using my extra that I have. Taking them off the base and just adding them to a black base. Just see how that would look. I think that would look pretty cool. Since I have an extra, why not? But let's go ahead and spin these around real quick. So you can see that the hair is the same for both versions. And then the robe is pretty much the same as well. So there's not too much of a difference. I definitely love these figures and I'm glad to have them both in my collection. All right, so finally it's time. We're gonna be opening up the full case of the Funko Mystery Minis for the Mandalorian. 
Now, if you guys have never bought Funko Mystery Minis, basically they have ratios. So you're not guaranteed to get everything from the set. So some things are rarer than the other ones and some are very common. So for example, right now I have a case of 12 figures. Some might be one out of six, which means I'm guaranteed to get two of those in this case. And then some might be one out of 24, one out of 36, one out of 72. And those are the rare ones and those are not guaranteed in the case. But let's go ahead and check this out. So cool, we got that little box art over there. And I, I think this one over here is a one out of 72, this child over here. And I think this Mando might be a one out of 12. I think the one where he's holding the child is a one out of 24 or one out of 36. I just know that one's a rare and that's actually the one that I really want. All right, so let's go ahead and get these out of here. I'm trying my best to not mix them up because I want to know what is where. All right, so it looks like this is how the box is supposed to be shown front to back. And you guys can see that's a really cool box art over here. So I'm actually happy I got the whole box. There it is. That's the one I really want. Hopefully I get that one. Let's cross our fingers. We pulled that one today, but there we have, I think that's all the figures actually, but all right, let's open it up. Let's go ahead and start opening these up and please bear with me. Sometimes these are really hard to open. So if I take some time, I apologize. They're just really hard to open sometimes. As you guys can see, I'm struggling already. This is barely the first one. All right, there you go. I got it ripped up and let's find out what we have in the first box. Before we open it up, let's go ahead and share the ratios we have over here. So that's the ratios. It's kind of blurry. I hope you guys could tell what's a one out of six, what's a one out of 12, what's a one out of 36 and one out of 72, but there are the ratios over there and all the figures we have in the set. And like I said, I really want the one of the Mandalorian holding the child, but I also really like the IG-11 and I like the wielding force child, which of course that one's the rare one rarest one actually one out of 72 but all right let's open this one up first one let's see what the first one is i don't want to ruin the boxes but sometimes it's just inevitable Whew. all right all right all right so usually the rare ones are never on the top so let's see how this one's set up i want to see if i can guess it by feeling it it's gonna be a mandalorian that's for sure Yes, I was right. We have the Mando as the very first one. I believe this is actually the one out of six. Yes, it is. So that's the one out of six. And sometimes how they display these is they tend to put the commons next to each other. So this one might be a Mandalorian again. All right, let's go ahead and open up this one and see if the theory is correct. And if this one is gonna be Mando once again. So he's a one out of six, which means we are guaranteed to have two of them in this case. And let's find out what this one is. Once again, I'm probably gonna ruin the box. I suck at opening them without ruining it. it kind of sucks. I try not to ruin them, but it's really hard. <laughs> All right, so this one does feel like Mando again. So I think it is him again. Yep, it's him again. So that's correct. So I'm gonna try not to open all of these. So I don't wanna have duplicates. So if we get another comment, I'm just not gonna open the one next to it and see if that's how it works. Right, so third box, third box. I didn't even notice. I could have opened the other one so easily. The rest of them are like this. I don't know if they're all like that, but this one just didn't have a full seal around it. So that was really easy to open. And there you go, really easy to open this time. So sometimes it's just different based off of the boxes too. So, all right, let's see what we have in this one. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? IG-11. There it is. That's a really cool one, actually. So that means most likely the one out of sixes are on top and the rare ones are on the bottom. I'm going to put this one on the side now. I'm guessing that's IG-11 once again. And let's open up one of these two over here. So most likely this is going to be one out of six, the child. There's two one out of six childs one with the T and just one of him alone. So let's see if this is one of those. I'm ruining it. Uh, I always ruin it. Why? Why do I always ruin the boxes? And I thought opening soda cans are hard. This is way more hard. We got the child with the cup. There it is. That's actually cute too. So this is another one out of six comment. Once again, I'm figuring this is gonna be the same one again. So let's go ahead and put that one to the side 
and start opening up the ones over here. So this is the one in the front again. This might be a common. So this might be the other child. So let's check it out. I feel like that's how they usually pack these. That's why when you go to like Hot Topic and Box Lunch and any other stores, you can notice people know the layout already. All right. What is this? Huh, this is something different. I don't think it's anything we already got. So let's see what we have in here. Is it a rare? Is it a rare? What is the ratio on this one? It's a one out of 12. We got Quill, one out of 12. That's a funny one actually. So this one, you only get one in the case. So now it's kind of getting tricky. So we don't know where the other one out of six childs might be. So let's open up the one next to Quill and see what we have here. So what do we have in this one over here? Let's find out. Sorry, I suck. I suck at opening these up. We have Cara Dune. I believe she's also a one out of 12. That is correct. She's another one out of 12. And that leaves us with four more boxes in here. So we only have four boxes left and that leaves us with two one out of six childs that we still haven't found and two rare ones. And let's see how many rares there are actually. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're only gonna get two out of the six today. I don't know which ones. I'm really hoping to get the one I really want, which was the one out of 24. So I don't care if I don't get a one out of 72 or one out of 36. I really want that one. So let's open it up and see what we have inside this box now. So let's check it out. Some of these are just super glued. Like this one is so hard to open. And then the other one, you saw how easy it was. So it's just based off of how they pack it. And you can see I'm kind of ruining them. But all right, let's see what we have in this one. This one feels like the child. So this is the one out of six child, I believe. And yes, it is. Yes, it is. So there, oh, I was wrong. It's the one out of 72 child over there. Wielding the force, one out of 72. I thought it was gonna be the common. There it is. We got the one out of the 72 child. So now I'm guessing these two in the back are the one out of six child. I can't believe I just got the one out of 72. I thought that was gonna be the common. So that was a cool surprise. I'm guessing this is another rare one. Now it looks like the child was the one out of 72 rare as well as the flame trooper. I think that was his name. I can't remember his name, but that's a cool one too. So now I'm hoping we get the Mando holding the child one out of 24. Let's open it up and see what we have in this one. Please, please be that one. That would be fantastic. This would be so worth the purchase if I actually get that one too, because I'm definitely keeping that one out of 72. Wield child, that's a cool one. That's a really cool one. And that's the first time I pulled a one out of 72 on my own. I don't think I've ever been that lucky. So let's find out what we have this time. Oh, this was so worth it. We got the Mando holding the child. This is fantastic. I can't believe the luck today. This was amazing. So now we actually know what we have left in the box. We've got the second common child, most likely the one out of six. So I can't believe that just happened. I literally thought this one in here was that one that we just opened up, but I got the one out of 72 child, which means I'm gonna have all the child and I know there's already a ton of Funko Pops for him. I have all of them. And honestly, I'm gonna keep buying them all. I don't care how many more they make. They can make 10 more, 20 more. I'll buy them all because who doesn't love Grogu? He's adorable and all the Pops are pretty cool. I have a couple that I must say are the best ones, just like the one I have right over here. The control knob one, that's my favorite. That's my favorite Grogu Pop. As of now, I'm sure they'll make some more cool ones. And yes, let's go ahead and check out the final Grogu. All right, here we have the third and final Grogu in the set. So I got all three of them. That is fantastic. So now we definitely know that this last box over here is another one out of six child, meaning that the theory was in fact correct for this set. It's not always that way. So for this one, the same commons were side by side and then the two rares were also side by side. However, keep in mind, if you guys go in stores, let's say you find a case, don't go based off of the layout because it might've been mixed up. Also, people might've already picked out the rares and then the workers just add more to fill up the case. So I'd say keep that in mind. If you guys actually want a rare guaranteed, 
I'd say the best way is to try to buy a sealed case and that way you have two rares for sure. Look at me, I got the two I wanted. So it was very exciting, I had a lot of fun. This was definitely first timer's luck and I would definitely do it again. We also got the brand new mystery mini set of the Disney princesses. I did get a full case, which I'll be opening up in one of my next videos. So stay tuned for that one. Here were our final pulls from the mystery boxes today. Really cool haul. So we have Cara Dune, Quill, and IG-11 back there. They look really great actually. I love the details on all of these over here. Now this one is my favorite one. The one out of 24, it might have not been the rarest one from all of them, but it's absolutely my favorite one. Different base, and we got both Mando and the child on it. Really adorable, check that out. Look at him, he looks so cute. And then I do like the details on all the childs we have over here. Now the wielding, the force one, it surprised me. I literally did not expect to get that today. So that was a great surprise. So I got all the childs from the set and now I'm just waiting on the exclusives for the specialty series. There's one of the Mando on the jetpack that glows in the dark. And then there's also one of IG-11 carrying the child. So I definitely want those two and I'll be happy with the collection. So these actually look pretty cool. They kind of connect with each other. Not really, but you just have to line them up together. But here's all the details all around. There's so much awesome details on these minis. They look fantastic. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of everything I shared in today's video. Also, let me know which item was your favorite in today's video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and join in on the fun. And I just want to say thank you all so much for taking time out of day to watch this video. Let me know what you guys would enjoy seeing in the next ones. Thank you all for watching and peace.